Are you ready to take your brand to the next level? In this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to leverage the power of D2G, direct garment printing, with screen printing to create a highly profitable product with great margins that you can scale up to thousands of prints. In previous videos, we talk about how to start your brand with little to no money. In this video, we're showing you guys a strategy on how to scale it up in real time. So if you guys are new visitors to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications to be alerted of future video drops. Our mission is to build brands that impact the world from the ground up. Now, direct to garment printing allows you to print one design at a time. By using the links down below, you're able to upload your artwork and get a design printed on this direct to garment printer, and the cost of it is around $20. Now, that's typically what direct to garment companies charge for you to make a design that you place through their online portal, and because of that, it's hard to grow your brand. On the other hand, screen printing is a time intensive and high minimum order quantity operation, so you really have to be invested into what you're producing. But remember, it's all about how you use the tools, my friend. Right now, this direct to garment printer combined with screen printing is your perfect solution. What you essentially wanna do is you wanna go ahead and upload your art, print off of the design collections that you guys are thinking about, put it on some models, create a marketing campaign around it, and launch it. Make it available to your community to pre-book, knowing that it'll be shipped in around two weeks time. With the pre-booking money that you guys secured, you're now able to actually place a screen printing order. Now, instead of paying $20 per garment, the cost of your t-shirt goes under $10, sometimes around seven, eight bucks with the t-shirt itself. So if you're selling garments for 30, 40 bucks, this is a $30 plus profit margin that you guys can have if you are doing screen printing the right way. This also ensures that you're not designing and making screen printed products that people don't wanna buy. By having a direct to garment printed model out you know you have the actual design out there's also generators that we're going to share in the links in the description that you guys can simply upload your art to those generators and now it shows it in a lifestyle imagery this will ensure that the designs that people want to buy are the designs that are actually made with screen printing allowing you to receive a bulk order of every order that people place for and you now ship it out to them this allows you to invest your money in the right areas so remember guys, it's all about using the tools that are available. Combining direct to garment printing with a screen printing order based on this strategy that we just discussed, I know it's gonna make you guys a lot of money. But in order to fully understand what goes into the screen printing process, I know it's key that we dive into every aspect of the screen printing operation in order for you guys to know what type of print you're gonna want with the designs that you're creating. A lot of times people just say, yo, I just wanna screen print something, here it is. No, we wanna level you guys up. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys a couple of the details that you need to know to elevate your brand and to design around the canvas and the art that you're creating. So in order for us to get started, you need to understand the basics of screen printing, and that begins by knowing what color separation is. Color separation is when you take the design and separate each color onto different screens so that when they print, they all come together as the final image. As Kim explained, your art must be separated according to each color due to how the screen printing process works. Each screen can only apply one color at a time, so depending on how many colors your artwork contains, it may take multiple screens to completely print out your designs. So now that you understand how the color separation process works and how the screens are made from it, it's time for us to dive into how the colors that are applied to your t-shirts are actually mixed and made in production. So now I want to bring you into the, this is what, the ink room or? Yeah, this is the, the color mixing area and then we also have our manufacturer colors over here. What were you about to start getting into? Uh, I'm mixing colors for a job. We got to adjust some colors to make sure that they match the Pantones correctly. And we got our, we got our inks, we got our spatula. And that's it. And then, and then it stays up here after it's done. Yeah, we, we label the jobs, we keep the Pantones on them. Uh, and we save them in case they uh, get reprinted or go with another order. That's pretty cool. So from those colors, you guys are essentially making almost any color in the rainbow. Yeah, correct. Got it. And then it gets rolled out into the actual screens. Mm -hmm. These are all plastisol. We'll also do some for water base as well that are down there. Down here. Okay. So tell us about like the three main types of, uh, of inks that are available in printing like this. So we have plastisol, we have water base, and we have discharge ink. Um, so plastisol, gives, obviously, gives a really great range of colors. 
Um, we also have water based that's a lot softer feel. Some people like that vintage feel, that, that worn outlook. Sometimes that's really good at doing that. But we can also achieve that with plastisol by reducing the ink, making the ink more um, less thick and more runny so we can get like a soft print like that. With plastisol? Yeah. Got it. So what's the benefits of using uh, water-based over plastisol in that situation? Some people have concerns of like eco-friendly. They want more water-based. That makes sense. Cool. Awesome. So what's the most exciting part about your job? I love doing artwork separation. Okay. I like separating design. It just seems like a puzzle that you have to solve before you, you kind of want to get it done correctly before the press. You don't want it to get to the press and have a problem. So you try to think of different solutions and ways to blend colors and to mix them, half tone, to try to save a screen or, it's really interesting. Certain designs are very, very difficult. Wow. I like them a lot. So, so when you're doing the color separation, you're doing that all on your computer? Correct. And then it gets burned into the screens? Yes. Got it, okay, cool. So tell us about the different types of printing methods that are, that are, that are common here. We can reduce the inks to make it more vintage feeling. We have puff, which uh, puffs the, the plastisol. We have suede for plastisol. Um, we've got glitter, we've got metallic, we've got shimmer, crystallina, gold glitter, silver glitter. We've got fluorescent inks, um, 3M reflective, which is kind of popular. Those are the most common ones that you're running into lately? 3M's been popular lately, yeah. How, how, how do you get the 3M look on, uh, on something? Um, there's ink up here, and then you have to activate it to, to get the reflective to really show through. So then when it comes to the production itself, it's, it's, it's treated like normal because you've already mixed it in, so now it's just treated like normal when it's going through the printing process? Like yeah, it's pretty normal. Sometimes you have to watch the mesh um, sizes. Certain mesh gives different um, effects to let, like especially for like glitter inks, you want lower mesh so the glitter goes through. If you have a higher mesh, it won't go through. Like the, the flakes that you really want to see won't go through. Interesting. So that's, that's your job, is yeah, to make yeah, sure that you're, that you're knowing what artwork and how to separate those. Because, yeah. oh wow, that's, that's a science then. Yeah, it's oh, fun. It's it nice is. to figure out. Yeah, you're literally an artist. You're playing with art every day. Color mixing. So you can get mad at somebody if they don't get the right PMS, right? You'd be like, yo, I told you the right mixture, right? Yeah. <laughs> After the color separation is completed, the printing process begins by taking the designs and turning them into screens. Inside of the screen room, commonly referred to as a dark room, your designs are burned onto the screen. The screens are then loaded up into the printing press, and the ink colors that were mixed for you are then applied on the top. These full auto screen printing presses apply ink to the top of each shirt. Each screen applies a different color according to your design. Once the t-shirt has made its full rotation, it is ready to be removed and put into the dryer to cure. On the other side of the dryer, your designs are folded up, bagged, boxed, and ready to ship to you. A Life Print Shop also does barcode labeling. So for those of you who have a fulfillment partner or are selling on Amazon FBA or in a retail store, they can ship directly to your partners and the barcodes keep you streamlined across all sales channels. As you guys can see, this is a well-oiled machine that is ready to assist you guys from one print to thousands. And it's always important that as you guys are scaling up and growing your brand, that you have multiple fulfillment partners and print shops such as these ones to take care of your growing demand. Last thing you want is to just have one fulfillment partner, one print on demand agency, and then that gets backed up. And now you have orders of thousands of products coming in that you can't fulfill. So for this reason, I wanna introduce you guys and I wanna encourage that you guys reach out to a live print shop they're including free neck labeling to anybody who mentions from the ground up in their order or if you use the links right down below to start that ordering process. Now in the next video that we do with them, we're gonna be covering everything that you need to know before you start making products. This will help you get your ducks in a row and better position yourself for success. So see you guys in that one.